Now you got what you came for. Now go home. <laughs> he was like, nah, that's not why I'm here, Giza. And Tom was just like, I beg your pardon. Nah, I'm here for Junior Park too. I beg your pardon. And my man's like, well, what a shame. Looks like your ass is gonna die today. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to see the Joker of Korea in his most deadliest form yet. What? What? How's it going, Squad Nation? It is your boy. And today, bro, we back again with more lookism. And today, oh my goodness, bro. If you have been living under the rock, then you guys have missed one of the best fights in Lucasfilm. One of the best fights in Lucasfilm. The fight that has pretty much was built up during the first ever interaction of these two. Well, first interaction that we got in the series. Goo versus Tom Lee. The Joker of Korea versus the Korean version of Felice Johnson. Brother, brother, tell me, that, like, like, bro, do, do I even need? Nah, let's roll, let's roll the clip. Let's roll way back when, when these two, when we've got, when we like, you know what I'm saying? We saw these two meet for the first time face to face in the series. In this case, the first time we've seen them, you know, interact with each other in the series. Pan over to the construction site. Goo is out here being happy-go-jolly as his usual self. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, howdy, Master Chairman Cease. Now, why'd you have to call me all the way over here? <laughs> you know, this is where a place where snitches get buried from a movie I watched. Isn't that right, eh? And my man Charles like, listen, bro. I just been hearing the word that the fourth affiliate has been um been running some illegal operation. They've been getting caught. I told y'all to keep that shit discreet. And bro, like, hey, hey don't don't hate, don't hate on me, Chairman Sheesh. You got the wrong guy. Guns in charge of the four major crews, not me. <laughs> but anyway, why are you so mad about the workers? Shit. I mean. All the other crews were caught doing running illegal stuff too. So it maybe is true. The workers do have something to you. But Charles like, listen, bro, that's why you shouldn't have left the workers. Until the workers were completely under control, I need you to keep an eye on them and type B. You know what I'm saying? Obviously they're going back and forth and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? They having a little talk and a little powwow real quick, right? But then some comes, someone come through the door. Someone that's exhuming some, um, some warrior energy. And this motherfucker comes out saying, hey, yo, peekaboo, found you. Now, looky, looky, long time no see, goo baby bear. Aw, oh, what's wrong? Your duo gun didn't come with you? My, my, you looking mighty grown. You been going through a growth spurt? How old are you? 20? 19? Ah. Well, Mr. Well, my little goo goo. Come on. Show your dang love for daddy for all time's sake. Huh? Brother. <laughs> Brother. Brother. <laughs> this man is already on that energy, bro. This thing of Tom cannot be stopped. How he's looking at Goo, bruh. This man's looking at Goo like he a little, little son, bruh. You're a victim. Oh, mm. This guy Goo extremely pressed. He was like, no, 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 no. You are not about to do none to me, chairman. All the four major crews are guns responsibility. The workers getting caught, doing illegal stuff, ain't got nothing to do with me. You know me, I'm your bodyguard, I'm your, I'm your pot, I am loyal to you. So why the hell you call this freaking geese over here? Because you're suspicious of me? Ooh, goo mad boy, mad boy, I'll goo goo's a little mad boy. Looks like he needs to be introduced to the pecking order one more time. And goo's like, no, 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 we ain't trying that. So what's the plan, huh? What's the, what's the plan, huh? 
Shit, I heard from Tom that you used to be a little bit of a problem back in the day. You used to be quite the fighter. So what, you're trying to have a triple threat match with me or what? What's happening, Chairman? What's good with you? And my man, Chairman's like, goo. Here, your bonus. <laughs> like, bro, like this man out here is like, bro, I don't know why you getting tripping for, bro. I didn't mean to upset you, man. I just called you to say, hey, I thank you for your hard work, all right? Shit, I, I want to give you my appreciation. The only reason why I called Mr. Mr. Carpenter over here is because we have some little business. And Goo's a little bit like, hey, yo, is this nigga for real? And my man Goo's like, are you sure that's the only reason? And my man Choi's like, hey, bro, that's the only reason. Come on, bro. Frame one. Hey, listen, did you really think I, I suspected you for plotting for the workers or anything? And my man Tom is just like, ooh, Mr. Chairman, ain't no, it's no soft, is it? Hey, my man Goo just snapped that freaking bonus check, bro. Goo's like, eh, the great Charles Choi ain't worked about though some four major crews. <laughs> Ain't went a laugh. Man, Tom is like, oh my lord, have mercy be. I'm looking like a third wheel right now. What do you mean by that? And Gula said to this man, Tom Lee, in the most serious tone possible. And you, old geezer, be careful. If I ever see you again, I'll carve your eyeballs out, brother. And I'm not gonna lie to you. That sound that didn't sound like no threat. It sound more like a promise. <laughs> like dead serious promise. Like again, this is actually this the first time we've seen Goo super freaking serious, bro. Like this man was like a little bit serious, my boy. Like goodness, goodness me. Like have mercy. But anyways, time passes a bit, and guess what? Those two. Met again, this time when crew allied are basically raiding the first freaking affiliate. And pretty much everything's pretty much all done and dozied here. So bro Tom literally takes a look and examines all the situation that's been going on, looks up at Goo, and basically utters these words. All right, I'm gonna need to listen, let y'all listen to me real quick. Here among this group, I have, without doubt, familiar with y'all weenus. And others, well, not so much. So with that being said, I'ma introduce myself. My name is Tom Lee. I'm boss of a company called the White Tiger Job Center. And as Mil Goo here is an ally of Allied, I'm here as an ally of the workers. But I'm not like Mr. Goo right here. I prefer to avoid unnecessary fighting at any cost. So let's talk things out first. First off, Daniel Park. Yes, sir. Why are you here? <clears throat> well, to uh, save, save my friends and, you know, destroy the first affiliate while I'm at it. Not to mention bring Geon Park with me. Ball, we were created, aren't we? Pick one. Um, Jin Young Park has lost his damn marbles. I'm on the worker side because there's information I need from Mr. Ji Young. The first affiliate has him in place to take care of him and you intend to destroy this same place nah that's unacceptable you rest your friends now run home but but what mr daniel park are you intending to fight me then bro <laughs> like man how we looking dead in this man's soul like hey yo i mean business today bro ain't no freaking way <laughs> Dan daniel Daniel out here stirring his words. And Tom, without even hesitation, literally goes over to this man Goo. He's like, all right, next one. Jun Goon Kim. You and I have no reason to fight whatsoever. You see, I know why you're here. You're here to save Samuel. You saved him, right? You did that. Now you got what you came for. Now go home. <laughs> he was like, nah, that's not why I'm here, geezer. And Tom is just like... I beg your pardon. Nah, I'm here for Jin Park too. I beg your pardon? What do you Park for? I heard that old man knows a lot of things. For example, Charles Shaw's weakness. So you need to know Charles Shaw's weakness? I'll ask him about it later. Now go home. Nah, 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 nah. See, we ain't playing that game, Tom, all right? Information is only valuable if I'm the one who's got it. If everyone fucking finds out about Choi's weakness, 
then the piece of the pie that I'm going to get is going to get smaller and smaller every time. So what you trying to say? You trying to fight me, little boy? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Look at how. And bro, oh, like, I don't like how this man just strips down to his undies, dog. Like, what? That's the one thing I can't understand. Why does every time when this man goes into a freaking fight, a serious fight, might I add, this man always strips down to his undies. Why? Bro, without much hesitation, they get straight to scrapping. With Goo about ready to cut this man Tom's eye out. But bro, literally with the quickness, already turns this man and literally twists him like he's a dang Beyblade, bro. And Goo out here tries to counterattack, but man catches this man in midair, bro. Like, <laughs> yo, out here face palming, bro. Like, my man is crazy. Look at all these guys. They all like, oh, nah. This, bro, this, this, this shit about to get crazy. <laughs> and man grabs him by the freaking hair. And this man just giving him the bitch slap, bro. Bitch slapping him with the freaking glove. Like, <laughs> the hand with the glove. My man is out here just pimp slapping him like he's a bitch. A cool got this man, Tom Lacking, cut this man by the lip, bro, with the freaking blade in his freaking heel, dog. Like, hey, yo. Then this man decides to grab that freaking shoe and just starts to beat the ever living shit with the with with the shoe with on Tom, bro. Like it's crazy. But this man, Tom, catches that boot with his freaking teeth. Like, nah, nigga. Nah. Nah, the warrior's coming out of him today. The warrior is coming out of Tom today, bro. Hey, yo. And my man, Tom's like, I see, I see. I underestimate you, Goo Goo. You all grown up and smashes this man with both hands, bro. Hey, yo, and then pommels him into the freaking ground like, hey, yo, bro, and proceeds to pound his head onto the freaking, yo, this man's a beast. This And then decides to twist this man's face once again and start spinning him around like a dang Beyblade, bro. My man Goo is out wire flying. The man's about to hit this man with the hoot and growl with the chop. Like, hey, yo, it's looking like it's about to be GG's on Goo. But, bro, everybody's like, nah, this shit, this man did the Uno reverse again. <laughs> like, hey, yo. And then my goo, like, even though my man Tom hit him, the goo's like, hey, yo, you really trying to kill me, ain't you, old man? Of course. Now that we've begun this fight, they ain't going to end until one of us dies. You think you can play around with this old man, goo? When'd you get so sneaky, making all those secret friends of yours? And then this man out here <laughs> exposing Goo, saying that my man already got his old little crew forming right now, bruh. You know about all that. <laughs> Please, the White Tiger Job Center knows about all them things. But your final secret friend was, was actually Tajin Cheon, the interminable of hell. So, I see, I see. So, you, but I gotta understand, what team your boys concocting? Well, I can't let this lie. Y'all become thorn side for a while. Time to crush both y'all today. Mmm, you blocked that. Well, seems like AI ain't the only one that's a fighting prodigy. This man, Tajin, took that punch and you're like, nah, this ain't nothing special. Oh. Oh, you, you so precious. Here, come here to daddy. <laughs> and while Goo is just basically watching my man Tage just fighting for his life with this man Tom, bro. My man's like, bro, this is gonna complicate things. I didn't expect to have a 2v1 right now. But one of Tajin's assistants like, hey, yo, bro. I came here gifting you with a present. Tajin Cheon said that, hey. You've been missing this for a while, so here you go. Bruh, you're probably wondering, what type of gift did this man Tajin give this man Goo, bro? While these men are out here clashing fists, Tom Lee's like, is that all you got, son of boy? Come on now. You really surprising me. What is this? You know Kudo. Ooh, oh, you've, I see, I see. 
You them Chang Leung boys. Oh, you from Chang Leung, you them country boys. Oh, I've been wanting to ask some of your country folks for a while. Now, it's time for me to get a little tastier. Here's Tommy. Ladies and gentlemen, we see it. We see it. The absolute, I repeat, the absolute, the absolute forbidden weapon. Listen to me, listen to me, and listen to me well, my brothers and sisters. Every time that we have seen this man goo, every time we have seen this man goo, every time he pops off, is when every time he has something in his hand that feels like a katana to him, he always gets a little serious and starts to pop off. Well, Brother Bears, ladies and gentlemen, everybody in the jury, this man got his katana. And bro, without no hesitation, this man does the walk, the JoJo walk, bruh. And my man says, oh, Tommy boy. And without hesitation, chops this man's hand off. What? What the fuck? Everyone is in shock. Tom is looking at his hand like, oh my goodness gracious me. And my man's like, well, what a shame. Looks like your ass is gonna die today. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to see the Joker of Korea in his most deadliest form yet. But the joke, we ain't not just about to see the Joker of Korea in his most deadliest form yet. No, no, no. We about to see the Korean Felice Johnson at his most deadliest form yet. And bro is out here literally saying, mm. How long has it been? It's been three years. What do you, and Goo's like, what you talking about? What do you think? I'm referring to my return as king. And bro, this man, look at, look at his face, bro. Look at, at his younger face, bro. Like what in the hell was this man in the pre-gen? What? Was this man was like in the pre-gens? I do not know. This man was probably gathering up weeners, glizzy, all of that, bro. My man's was just straight being a straight demon, bro. Like my god, and my man's out here cracking his knuckles, cracking them fingers. And bro starts using his claws. Yes, nigga, I said it. This man, Tom, has claws. This, this. Warrior has claws, and this man is bro. This man's out here scratching, trying to get his claws on goo, bro. Ain't no freaking war. <laughs> this man is going crazy, dog. And my man is telling a hey, goo baby boy, You've been a pain in my neck for way too long. And bro, they start scrapping, bro. And I mean scrapping. They both trying to slice each other up, slicing and dicing, cut each other. Like this just shit is just pandemonium, bro. They going in for one good ass slice. Like look at these frames, dog. <laughs> bro, it looks like both of them got each other. But bro, this shit right here is fucking crazy. One of the most craziest feats I've ever seen in this fucking series this man goo breathed and bro stopped his blue dog this nigga's op <laughs> goo is op bro but the top but goo's not the only one tom basically uses extra muscles to close his wound what in the shit bro dog Dog, <laughs> this is too much, dog. Yo, and my man Goose like, hey, yo, man, you trying to go all night with me? And Tom's like, nah, baby boy, we need to wrap this up. Yeah, don't be scared, old man. 
I'll make sure I'll cut off your other hand too to match you. And Tom's like, oh, you trying to match? Try to match my level? Boy, you haven't even seen the extent of my level, bro. And Goo's like, oh, please. Yeah, I've seen your full extent of your power. And trust me, it wasn't that impressive. And my man Tom's like, oh, you, uh, I made you underestimate me. And, bro, they come in here for one final freaking attack, bro. One final class of demons, of disrespectful kings, bro. They both go in for one more freaking strike and... Both of them got each other. Tom got his claws in this man's neck, bruh. And, and Goo got his sword in this man's neck. <laughs> Both of them <laughs> looking like they about to cut off each other's he heads off, bruh. Frame by frame, bro. But eventually, Goo's like, or, not, or should I say Tom? Tom's like, nah. We, we stopping this fight. And Goose like, why you stopping? And Tom's like, I figure we both about to die at this rate. And if we both die, who going to take care of Ji Young? And who's going to take care of him? And they both realize that if, if, if both of them die, then shit. Charles basically going to get Ji Young. And obviously all their plans going to get foiled right then and there. So they all like, yeah, we call a truce for now. <laughs> Goo's like, all right, Tajin, we leaving. <laughs> we leaving. And bro's like, wait, you you for real, my boy? And he's like, yeah, we'll let, we'll let Tom this one. Taking him won't do us any good anyway. Shit. If that man sees us up, I won't be able to get, that, get them secrets. We're still too weak. We need to bolster up our ranks. So we'll climb our claws for now. And bro... The fight's over, and my man Tom is just pulling back his freaking pants. Also, there's also another thing I never fi I forgot to mention. Tom already had his hand cut off years prior. What goo cut off was just his prosthetic hand. So, if you're wondering if by by a frame, like you see a, like a weird stump that's already there, yeah, that that's not because uh, Tom literally like formed the whole muscle covering the wound after that no no his hand was already cut off he way years prior and that ladies and gentlemen is the end of this video so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please like this video and also comment down below like bro like rate one through ten how crazy was this fight in y'all's eyes rate it one through ten let me know in the comments down below also, check in the description down below if you really are effing with these lookism content. Check out my whole freaking playlist. It's in the description as well. And also, one more freaking thing. Be on the lookout for my next drop of lookism video, which, which will be coming soon, probably very soon, which will be a disrespectful analysis of every disrespectful character and look at them. And y'all, and every title of the video is just gonna be their disrespectful title. Which such as Gun being the embodiment of him, you Daniel being the god of disrespect, Samuel, so you getting the gist of it. I also also leak being I also like put like the titles of every like look at some characters disrespectful like rank title. In a, in a community post and stuff like that so y'all can get familiarized with it but all in all that is it for this video like comment share this video across with some you can and subscribe if you're new to my channel this is class like signing out and as always thank you guys so much for watching